A spillway functions to remove excess water during periods of heavy rainfall so water does not top the dam. The width, length, and type of spillway is different for every pond depending on factors such as watershed area, average annual rainfall, topography, vegetative cover, and soil type. Consult an NRCS agent or qualified engineer to determine the proper spillway for your pond. The spillway should be constructed about six inches above the level of the overflow pipe. The spillway should have a three-foot vertical drop to prevent wild fish from entering the pond from downstream. A horizontal pipe through the dam is not a sufficient spillway for watershed ponds. A spillway barrier should be considered to keep certain fish, such as grass carp, from leaving the pond during high water. A barrier may be constructed from rebar with the horizontal pieces spaced approximately one inch apart. This spacing will allow most floating debris to flow through but retain adult fish. The barrier should not be constructed of hardware cloth or screen, which could become clogged and endanger the dam during floods. In general, the barrier should be at least 16 to 20 inches high, but never more than half the depth of the spillway. Even a properly constructed barrier will require periodic cleaning after storm events.